Hello, welcome to Homesteading Northwest Florida. Uh, it is Saturday, August 31st at 6.45 a.m., really early. Couldn't sleep that well last night for some reason. Um, and the temperature is like 75 degrees this evening it was in the early morning. That's as cool as it got down to. So we got the pepper plants growing like crazy here. Oh, well, here's a little pepper there, but we got some bigger ones and I've been harvesting. Good thing about peppers is that, uh, I like the little white flowers too, is that you can harvest them at any time. They're, they taste the same if you harvest them small like this or wait until they get larger. Oh, that one's getting kind of big. That's, that's about the biggest one I've had so far. So I harvest them whenever they're ready. Actually, too, probably before the bugs get to them or anything like that. Like we did have some bugs get into this bok choy and completely annihilate it. Oh my gosh, a flower fell off of this. That means there won't be a pepper there. I'm waiting for some different kinds. I have some red peppers. This is another flower that fell off. So the flowers are still, it's pretty hot during the day, I'm gonna tell ya. It's like about 93, 94 it's supposed to be today with super high humidity. You can see the condensation on everything. And when that starts to bake off, it's just almost intolerable. You know, it's just like a really weird time of year. And uh, I think we have four or five more days until Wednesday for it to get uh, a rainstorm, which I think is going to be too much rain then. It's going to rain and it's just going to be way too much. We always have the roses here, and I do see how hummingbirds come. And I separated some tomatoes, just don't really do it here. You can see like a powdery mildew on them, and you know, it's like a fight with the heat and the humidity. Tomatoes are tough here. Oh, there's powdery mildew on the tomatoes. Great. Or maybe that's some diatomaceous earth. I'm not really sure. But parsley does well here. I know it all. I did have some in the ground for years. And yep. So I have all the peppers kind of staked here. And uh, they're not liking it quite. But on uh, starting on Wednesday, we should have rain like almost every day and cooler temperatures that's what i'm really looking forward to and it looks like i killed my grass with something i did with the dryer drums and that's what i did there but yep oh well yesterday we spent all day restoring my cheapo Walmart uh, wheelbarrow because I definitely need two wheelbarrows and this one was ready to go. This Walmart expert gardener, I think it was like, I got it a while ago, like seven, uh, about four years ago and I think it was about $75. But I've discovered these wooden so I had ordered the metal handles, but these wooden handles never really last. Also, this metal on this one is very thin. And not recommending putting hot fire ashes into your, you know. So I took another piece of metal. This is like off of a furnace. And this was from a light ballast. Uh, that I put at the bottom to, because the bottom, like this thing was just like buckling and rusted. And I also put very large washers 
underneath with uh, silicone. And I did my other wheelbarrow like this when I uh, restored, the, took the wooden handles off of that one. The wooden handles are basically the first thing to go. And you want the wheel, the more stable it is, I think I'm going to put some silicone underneath here because I created a gap. And I siliconed everything on that other wheelbarrow and it's holding together. But, you know, this definitely got loose and, you know, the and the, the this bin itself is uh, very thin metal. This is a cheapo one. And wheelbarrows are getting the cost like about, you know, $150 now. And, and I think this was $75 when I bought it. But, and I had ordered the handles years ago from Ace Hardware and did a pickup. Because they were cheapest there. I doubt if they're cheapest now. But, uh, metal handles. Definitely got to switch out the other. And, uh, still have some apple tree seedlings doing alright here. Because this area along the building here is uh, protected from the rain, which brings mildew. Something nipped off the top of this one. This is the Granny Smith apple. But, uh, you know, I think when it does cool down here... Oh, yeah, I wanted to show you the Mexican petunia or ruelia. Just beautiful in the morning. And what I do is I check all my cars for rats and start charging the solar lights. Oh, 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 ooh, this is good. All right, you can see here that the flower fell off, but not that stem. That means that this one is gonna have peppers. Now when only the flower comes off, like this and the stem stays that is where the pepper forms you can kind of see little peppers in there with that I would think that would be the stamen sticking out and those are the little peppers so that's a great sign that this this one's finally getting peppers maybe it'll be a different variety than the other ones oh and I also got a little mushroom there a lot of mushrooms. Oh, and we got a caterpillar. Now this, I don't know what kind of caterpillar that is. I'm going to kill it and look that up later. But we got a lot of those caterpillars. And this I cut back completely to nothing. And this is how much eggplant I got. Eggplant does well here. So do the peppers. But yeah, here's some frass for, from some caterpillars, and yeah. Bougainvillea, I just put a new trellis to get this thing to grow up the building here. And uh, tied it up. Because it's going to get too cold for Bougainvillea. And actually, this eggplant is blocking it, its sun during the day. So anyhow, uh, yep, so I'm clearing this area along the house under the eaves to, uh, in case it starts raining too much, like five inches of rain in one day, you know, and that's what'll happen. You know, we won't get rain for a week, and then we'll get five inches in one day, and I'm going to put my peppers under this eave, my good pepper plants when it starts a downpour. Oh, Mexican platoon over here. And I just planted this 